proprietary system combines operating procedures, clinical protocols, and mobile app software to standardize orthopedic care while ensuring access to the best orthopedists, facilities, and medical technologies in a given community. We all are using apps, right? Why, why will we not use it to be able to seek medical care if you're on a soccer field or on an assembly line? And to be able to use an app, just like you order a, uh, some food or a, a cake or maybe even a date, you now are getting medical care. And that is, uh, that, that is really a game changer. I have got to say one word to everyone. Wow. Ortho Now. This company was founded by Dr. Alejandro Padilla, a world famous and an upper limb surgeon, orthopedic surgeon. So let's go to the video. OrthoNow is the orthopedic immediate care model many of you have heard about. What you may not know is how we are disrupting the traditional care paradigm for musculoskeletal health. A proprietary system combines operating procedures, clinical protocols, and mobile app software to standardize orthopedic care while ensuring access to the best orthopedists, facilities, and medical technologies in a given community. Our award-winning app includes our trademark patient engine called On My Way Now, which allows the consumers and injured worker, athlete, family member to choose a location and let us know when they are coming. They decide, not us. Patients can then seamlessly call a rideshare service utilizing our integration with Uber and Lyft. Once on site, if the diagnosis is complex or severe, the examining clinician uses the app to communicate with the appropriate subspecialist in our network via OrthoChat, our trademarked HIPAA-compliant communication system. Imaging studies and clinical data are exchanged, and the patient is then scheduled for follow-up, or in some cases, surgery at the local ambulatory surgery center. In fact, we have a relationship with MyMedicalImages.com where we can transmit the entire uh, image set through a cloud-based software. Our protocols and technology allow us to provide the most efficient care. Not only does this ensure appropriate care, but expedites that care and minimizes cost, all factors that our healthcare system truly needs. Essentially, we've created a direct-to-consumer and direct-to-employer orthopedic healthcare delivery system. OrthoNow is a patient funnel that allows us to capture that patient and deliver the appropriate care that could include therapy, imaging, and certainly ambulatory surgery centers. Currently, healthcare systems are capturing these patients through emergency rooms and general urgent care centers. So what, what is the value of OrthoNow to a strategic partner or investor? Well, essentially, we're a patient funnel. So once that patient is captured, perhaps away from the local healthcare system, hospital, or competing orthopedic group, that patient is lost in that system and may never be captured again. Essentially, a patient walks into ortho now, and now we get to do the imaging. If surgery is needed, we do it at the surgery center of choice. We do the rehabilitation and the follow-up. And that downstream revenue is really the incredible value that ortho now brings to the entire orthopedic ecosystem. Essentially, we are a funnel for orthopedic care. We're changing the way orthopedic healthcare is delivered now. How very exciting this is. Today, to uh, speak live with us is Dr. Alejandro Badia, the founder of OrthoNow, and Eric Rylander, uh, who operates OrthoNow. So, Orth, you are in the sweet spot of opportunity, in my view, the delivery of orthopedic health care. More than eight hundred billion dollars a year is spent in the U.S. healthcare system delivering orthopedic health care. That system requires the integration of what I call the six P's that need to be served. The patient, the physician, the provider, the payer, the producer, and the policymaker. What is the most important key of those six elements that you serve? Yes, Tony, thank you for 
but I keep questioning because it's, this is really completely focused on the patient. And the reason being is that being a, a hand surgeon, um, I started this because I realized that patients were jumping through multiple hurdles before getting to somebody like me or uh, somebody like Dr. Anderson. And the right orthopedic clinician is often coming at the end of a very long road where there is not only uh, often inappropriate or uh, under treatment, but often very expensive care is being delivered. So that obviously affects the policymakers, but certainly the patients uh, need to be better served. We live in a country with great medical technology and healthcare, but all of the things that we might see on the pitch, if the patient doesn't get to the right clinician at the right time, some of those opportunities are lost. And there is a huge uh, downstream uh, consequence of that if that's not delivered initially. Well, that's an excellent um, explanation. I appreciate un that understanding very clearly. Let's go to Mike Sherman. So look, in, in our community in Memphis, we have a number of clinics running, uh, you know, orthostat type of services where you bypass an urgent care place, you bypass an emergency room, you go straight in to the, those clinics. And this sounds like a, 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 a grander version of, of that to me, and maybe a more integrated, probably a more integrated version. My question is how, so, and from your website, it looks like you're, you're using it in your community currently. How do you plan to scale this? What we have done is created a model that is turnkey and, and scalable. So we have codified our policies and our procedures, and we've created technology that brings it all together. As Dr. Padilla explained in the video, we are a funnel. So we are the first stop for that patient. But the key to it all is to have the glue then and to not have leakage in that ecosystem that you're creating. And so we live at the top of the funnel and then now we have the best specialists that we refer patients to if they need surgery. We are affiliated with an ambulatory surgery center where we know they can get excellent care. And so it provides kind of that back door for that patient to get the best kind of care and not, not have to go to different steps along the way. We all are using apps, right? Why, why will we not use it to be able to seek medical care if you're on a soccer field or on an assembly line and to be able to use an app, just like you order a, uh, some food or a, a cake or maybe even a date, you now are getting medical care. And that is, uh, that, that is really the game changer. So I get that, I, 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 but what I think you need to do, and maybe you're, you're answering it by saying you're looking to find a strategic partner, you need to come into a community like Memphis and find the practices that exist here and sell this concept to them and get them to buy in. Are you looking to in, increase your team and hire you know, regional uh, business development people that'll sort of make that outreach? Or are you looking to find a national partner that'll do that for you? Because I think you're, you, you've got a very elegant website. You've, you're, you're right at the moment of, of now basically franchising this. Right. And we, we have um, explored different ways of growth and there are multiple, we've actually gotten a lot of inquiries recently because frankly, because of the, uh, because of, uh, frankly, because of COVID, what's yeah. interesting is it's changed a lot of behavior. And not, not just with patients, but that's the more obvious one, that patients think about the hospital a lot differently than they used to. And to Tony knows I have a big interest in international, so I always want to say that there's no reason why this couldn't go in, into Gothenburg, uh, Sweden, with, uh, with Ben's, uh, and make sure that they have the right access to spine care which is our second most common, uh, our data analytics shows that's our second most common entity. We wanna be clear, it's not just about injury. 70, our data shows 70% of patients who come into ortho now are for pain. So right knee pain, typically month after month tends to be the most common. Uh, lumbar pain is number two, and then ankle sprain is down at number six. And we have all this data, which we think is very valuable. The data sounds like it's very valuable. Now let's go to Dr. Paul Anderson, practicing physician and uh, having exper deep experience in spine. What would be your questions for ortho now? 
Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I think you've hit upon an important uh, thing. Uh, I always learned that the very early in my career that the most important patient you have is a new patient to your practice. And I think that the funnel concept, uh, as you describe it, is one that's very workable and very helpful to build people's practices economically feasible to have for one you'd have to have a hand surgeon a spine surgeon a foot and ankle specialist so what we have is really a good clinician who knows initial orthopedic care uh, knows enough that uh, when something is 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 trouble is difficult uh, certainly knows how to splint cast inject all of those things but then has great backup and that backup is the the team of the subspecialists who simply need to be somewhat available by their uh, smartphone, which is now part of our life. So if they can answer a text about, you know, from their, their kid at school, they can so certainly take and quickly look at an x-ray or an MRI image and say, yep, uh, let me get that in my office, you know, tomorrow and, and then go from there. Uh, so the clinicians are very, very eager. The, the surgeons are very eager to collaborate because as you said, the most valuable thing for a practice is that new patient. And generally, when uh, that clinician is contacted, it's usually because it's something surgical. They do uh, follow. Is it expected that the ortho now practitioner will do the follow-up care, or is that all going to be referred to yes, somebody else? Yes, we, we, yeah, they do, they do the follow-up. Yeah. yeah, we do the follow-up. In, in fact, it, about, about 75, 80% of our cases don't need subspecialists involvement. For instance, you may not be uh, covered by the insurance company, the, the patient who just twisted their ankle at a soccer meet. Uh, how, how do you plan on overcoming that? Yeah. And that, that's the value of our growing. One of the reasons we want to have multiple clinics, it's going to be a much better dialogue to go to a national payer and say, look at the money that we're able to save you if you can keep that ankle sprain or back pain out of an emergency room. And that's, that's really why we're looking for scale. Uh, but I'll say one thing, we're so cost effective that with high deductibles nowadays in most plans, as you all know, that uh, sometimes it's just better for the patient to put it on their visa and, and time is money. And we, we get them out in an average of, a, of 70 minutes, seven zero is the data that we have. Uh, so if somebody can be out with a, with a cast or with an injection in a little over an hour, that's that's valuable. You present a compelling case uh, in, answer, in addressing these questions from Dr. Anderson. Thank you. And let's go now to Robin Young. Thank you. Uh, it's very interesting. It seems to me that the, the thing the most urgent care centers are selling is speed and convenience because you can't plan when you'll have a sprained ankle. It just happens and you can't call and make an appointment. So it's great to get into that urgent care, care center. But what you're offering is an app. So if my kid sprains his ankle, I hit the app. Not only do I get an appointment, but I get an Uber driver showing up 10 minutes later who will take me to that location. And now, because it's as easy as falling off a log, to use an old cliche, you that is your value add. It's that too, it's so easy to get into the beginning of that patient funnel. That's the capture. Did I get that right? Yeah, well, we also know that you're on your way, which is very know. So, yeah, that's, so a big, that's a big difference. That the means, emergency room that, never knows. That so you're so my, my first question is what differentiates you from the 10,000 other urgent care centers? And it seems to me it's that extreme easiness of getting into the patient funnel, for lack of a better word which seems to me that your business model is really partnering with either other urgent care centers or with someone who's got lots of patients, which would be the insurance companies. So how much money can you save the insurance companies? So the mayor uh, here in Miami is getting a lot of national attention, as you probably know. So the mayor asked when he was, actually back when he was commissioner, asked us to do a financial projection of exactly what could we save the county. Well, we did an estimation based very, very conservatively off a presentation of a, of a common type of wrist pain. We, could, we project we could save the county here in Miami $9.7 million. It's the difference between the general urgent cares and um, uh, actually a patient in x-ray here. Um, we're open until 8 p.m. So uh, 
<laughs> the difference really with us and the, and the general education expertise. It's that simple. Um, I was an okay. ER doctor in Manhattan, but I can tell you, I don't know a lot about the eye. And when you go to most urgent cares, they don't know a lot about, about orthopedic uh, issues. That's the reality. Right. No, that was terrific. Thank you. Let's go to the audience for your view. What do you think? From what you've heard, is it a winner? A future game changer? Let's go to our panel members. Mike, let's go to you. I think it's, it's, it's riding the changing standard of care. It's going to facilitate it and grease the skids. Robin? Uh, if, if you can partner with a big national-based uh, organization, whether it's a Walgreens, Rite Aid, or United Healthcare, yeah, you could be a game changer. And Dr. Anderson? We'll I think it's, uh, it's a great niche, and uh, it could certainly change the standard of care. And let's see what the audience tells us. The audience agrees. It's a winner and a future game changer. Congratulations to Dr. Alejandro Badia for his excellent in innovation in the service model of orthopedics. If you want to contact OrthoNo, reach Dr. Badia or reach Eric directly. And here's their contact information. Thank you to you, our audience, for being with us today